Welcome ladies and gentlemen, the most luxury Grand Prix of the season has arrived. Monte Carlo Monaco is the home of today's race. Marc Genet is back to 22nd place, but for the first time his neighbor isn't his teammate, it's Pedro Doloroso and Eros. Another row of Minardi Eros combination, Luca Badoa and Toro Takagi 20th and 19th respectively. Two years ago Olivia Panis was the winner, now his chance to repeat on that high, since he is 18th. Damon Hill and Jordan 17th, Ralph Schumacher surprisingly just 16th. Pedro Dean's shown impressive consistency, third race in a row he starts from 15th position. Jana Lason Zab is 14th, Stuart's Johnny Habit is 13th. Solid result for Nika Salo, he is starting from 12th, Alexander Zanat is 11th. Row 5th is sky blue, Wurz and Fisichella have shown good pace on Saturday. Row 4th consists of Villeneuve and Trulli, both drivers hope to break their non-finished streak and score first points today. Frensen is 6th and Brukello 5th, maintaining his high bar of qualification results. After two six places, two consecutive four for Ivine, and for the first time, Kulhut is on third position. Michael Schumacher climbed the first row, but he is still behind Nick Hakkinen, who has won his fourth pole this season. Lights out and race is on. Monaco is famous for being the race where qualification position matters most, so every overtake here is way much more difficult. Knowing that, Michael Schumacher made the most from the first corner and passed Mika for first place. The same thing happened with Ivine and Kulhut, so the order is following. Schumacher first, Hakkinen in second, Ivan in third, Kuchel fourth, Brickell fifth, France in sixth. Lap 3 is unlucky for Damon Hill. He gets into an accident with Rolf Schumacher and retires from third race of the season out of four. Kuchel has problems with the car. There is some smoke coming out. Stewart's Johnny Habit loses the car and quits the Grand Prix. Back to Coolhart. After some struggle, David has limped his way to pits, and the race for him is finished. Just like Damon Hill, it's already third DNF for Scottish driver. Hakkinen sleeps on oil leftovers from Takagi, but manages to save the car from collision. Although almost all of his 20 seconds gap ahead of Ivan has disappeared. Franson continues to perform strong this season. He is pursuing Barry Keller. Gap is really small, but as always, it's not easy to overtake in Monte Carlo. Reigning world champion goes for his sole stop of the race, which allows Eddie Ivan to pass him for second position. Ralph Schumacher crashes into the barrier and this difficult weekend has finally ended for him. But for everyone remaining in the race, there is yellow flag. At the same time, Ralph's brother is fully in control of the race. Another lap, another crash. Now it's Rubens Barrichello who was looking to comfortably score 12 points by finishing 4th, but his suspension had different opinion about that, so Stewart loses both cars due to mechanical fails today. Michael Schumacher flies to the finish and earns second victory in a row, but to sweeten the deal, Eddie Irvine is finishing second and is the first 1-2 of the season. Ferrari is dominating this year so far. Once again congrats to Michael Schumacher and Ferrari for winning Monaco Grand Prix. Irvine is second and Mickey Hakkinen is third. Unfortunately for McLaren he was unable to convert Paul into a win, but he was able to score the fastest lap of the race. Franson back in points, he is fourth, right behind the two Benettons, Fisichella and Woods respectively. First points of the season for Italian duo of Trulli and Zanardi, and even though Barrichello did not finish, he was classified ninth, adding two points to his count. Michael Schumacher extends his lead, his closest competitors Ivan, Franz and Hakkinen earned maximum of what they could in today's race. On contrary, Ralph Schumacher dropped down to 6th position, due to great performance by Fisichella. Alex Woods climbed 5th positions at once and he is now 9th. In the second part of the standings, tension is getting higher, as we have multiple occasions where two or more drivers have the same amount of points. Ferrari storms away in Constructors' Championship. Already owning 67 points gap on McLaren, who to their credit managed to overtook Jordan, but the margin is only 3 points. Benton looks strong on 4th position, thanks to Zanardi Williams retained 5th place. Prost ran away from Zabo and Minardi and now is undisputedly 8th. And this was Monaco Grand Prix. 
Thank you for tuning in, I hope you enjoyed today's race. Next stop in two weeks in Spain. See you soon.